Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate five lead ECG placement. For a five lead ECG placement, you're gonna need the following supplies. Five electrodes, alcohol prep pads, abrasive tape, and some hair trimmers if there's excessive hair. Then you wanna make sure your patient is positioned properly. It's best to get them in the supine position, so laying flat on their back. But sometimes patients can't tolerate that, so you can put them in the semi-fowlers or low-fowlers position. So after you've positioned your patient, you want to expose the chest. Now in some patients, this area is a private area, so you want to preserve their privacy. You can use a towel to cover this area while you're having to work on the chest. Then what you wanna do is you want to prep your skin because you want these electrodes to stick to this skin. Therefore, what you can do is get your alcohol prep pads, take those out, find your landmark where you're supposed to go on the chest. You're going to take these pads and you're going to clean the area where the electrode's going to go. This is removing all those oils, dead skin. Then let that completely dry. Then after that has completely dried, you can take some abrasive tape and just gently rough up the area. This allows that electrode to get a good connection. And you'll want to perform this for all the sites that you place the electrodes. Now we've cleaned all of our sites and now we're ready to place the electrodes. For the five lead ECG placement, we typically use this for let's say like a telemetry box. So we're gonna need five electrodes to do this and we're gonna be placing for the following leads. The right arm, the right leg, left arm, left leg, and then V1. So to do that, you want to first, I would start with the right arm, and we wanna to go to the second intercostal space. We're gonna go below the clavicle, and we're gonna to go to the midclavicular line. So to do that, to make sure you're getting in the second intercostal space, find your notch right here, then go down. You're gonna feel a hump. It's a ridge-like area. This is the angle of Lewis. Then you're just gonna go over a little bit to the right because this is where the right arm lead's gonna go. And you're gonna feel something hard. That is the rib, the second rib. And then just go just a little bit down that. And that's the second intercostal space. Now make sure that lines up with the midclavicular line. So this is the beginning of our clavicle. We have the end of our clavicle. Cut that down the middle. So about right here will be where our right arm lead is going to go. Now I'm gonna place the right leg electrode and I got to get to about the seventh or eighth intercostal space on that midclavicular line. So I've already found my second intercostal space. It's right here. I'm gonna go down my third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay, so about right here. Make sure I'm on that midclavicular line. So we're gonna put the right leg about right here. Now I'm going to place the left arm electrode. So again, find your landmark. So the suprasternal notch, go down to the angle of Lewis, come over to the left, and that is the second rib. And then I'm gonna go just below that, and that's the second intercostal space. And I'm trying to go on that midclavicular line. So we have the beginning of our clavicle, end of our clavicle, midway point. It's about right here. So that is where our left arm electrode is going to go. Now I'm going to do the left leg electrode. So with this, again, we're trying to get midclavicular line at about the seventh or eighth intercostal space. So we've already found our second intercostal space. So third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And we want to go midclavicularly again. So we're going to go about right here. And then lastly, I'm going to place V1. And V1 is going to be in the same position as it is on a 12 lead ECG. It's going to be right of the sternum at that fourth intercostal space. So that's where we're trying to get, fourth intercostal space. So we found our notch, found our ridge. There's our second rib, second intercostal space, third intercostal space, fourth intercostal space. So we are right of the sternum and this is where V1 is going to go. Now let me go over the lead color that attaches to each of these electrodes. And these colors can vary depending on the type of equipment you're using, but generally they are these colors. So you have your right arm, which is white. You have your right leg, which is green. So clouds over trees. And then we have our left arm, which is black. And then our left leg, which is red. So coal over fire. And then V1 is sort of the oddball, and it is brown. And how we remember that is that dirt in the middle.